Alrighty guys, um, I just finished assembling my, which what used to be a 1288 red, yellow, green. I converted it to a 128812 flashing yellow arrow. Um, I slaved it off of the econo light over here. Um, that's how it's going to be once I get it up on uh, my little stands here. Once everything's built. But I'm um, just doing a test run. And um, this one's LED bulb, LED bulb, incandescent, and LED. And you'll notice the difference between the incandescent and the LED when it flashes. You'll, it's pretty neat. Um, so I'll let it cycle here for you. As far as I know, this is the only known flashing yellow arrow 1288 12 that I know of. But if you guys know of one, let me know. But anywho, just want something unique that you don't really see every day. Um, and of course, this, these weren't really used back in the days of FYA technology, so figured I would do something a little different but I just like how it fades out instead of the LED on the other side it just instantly goes out it's pretty neat but anywho oh and about the this actually isn't wire it's actually yarn uh, took my mom a couple years to do that um, I was gonna take it down and the conversation came up with her and that didn't go too well so I'm gonna keep it up just it did take a long time to do it so I figured just to remember her by but anyway um yeah that's what it is it's matter of fact right here um so it's just yarn she did it pretty much on the whole wall even back here uh, a little up there and over there um can't really see it much over that way but but anywho um so yeah, I'll be, the only stand still, why I can't get them hung right now is because when I redid the, um, because remember I had some over my computer here, I took toilets down and rebuilt, let me show you, basically, oh, I almost fell, <clears throat> most is a little stiff from lifting these things all day, but, um, let it cycle through here. The boards are in there in the kitchen, I'll show you. Um, just wait for it to... Okay, let me run a light here. Oh, I made it. <laughs> anyway, so this... Originally, this was just the one that was sagging over here, so I reinforced it, put another board behind it. This is going to be the one that holds the lights over the computer. Um, the one that I'm going to do over in this corner... The little beam things is right here this gray one and um i basically want you to double it up because i know wood sags if it just holds a lot of weight but um but yeah so oh that was gonna tell you about the standstill so basically hang on excuse the mess this is construction <laughs> all right i think it's over where's the thing at? <laughs> Yep, there we go. All right, so the snag that I came across is now that I reinforced this with more wood, the uh, little bolt things I used to like hang, put the hooks in to hold the lights, now won't fit because it's it's not long enough. And right now I don't have the funds to finish, like go get the longer ones. So this project's pretty much came to a standstill for now um so i can get the funds but when all said and done uh there'll be beam here like going that way and these two lights are going to be on the left side they're going to be i've never personally seen a flash nail arrow in conjunction with another flash nail like side by side so i'm pretty much doing a lot of new things just experimenting here and then of course when i put this one back up i'm thinking krauss heinz 
crowd sign. I think this one's the one I put back up here is gonna be all crowd signs. This one, whatever eight inch signals I have left, I'll try to add on with these two, like see how many I can fit. And then this one, I was gonna build something similar to uh, like that for this one, but I think what I'm gonna do with this one is build its own stand. And I'm gonna have it right here coming like right facing the kitchen so the arrows will be pointing out. But I'm gonna build its own stand because that thing is pretty heavy. I had to come home one day and the wood snap and then pieces everywhere. But anywho, it's, it's a work in progress. It's just ran out of construction money. So, but anywho, I just want to show you the current project I had going on. Didn't need funds for that particular one. But yep, yeah, this is formerly a 1288, and now it's a 128812. Um, top head is marble white, elephy, elephy, and elephy. So that one's pretty much the odd duck of the uh, deal here. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to slave this one off of this one once I get them hung up here. And um, I have a sensor. Let me see. I don't think you can see it. No, it's not. It's kind of in a mosh pit somewhere. But anyway, I'm going to kind of make it a smart intersection so like I'm gonna have the sensor set up somewhere so like when you're coming out of the kitchen it'll automatically trigger this light it'll like change to everything yellow red and then this one will give you the go ahead and then once it sees it is clear then everything else will return back to normal so it's gonna take a little Arduino programming a little complicated Arduino programming I might need your help on this one, Matt, but I'll see if I can do it before I help, ask for help. I'm trying to be sufficient or self-sufficient, I guess. I hate to take up people's time by asking them for stuff. But if I have to, I'll ask you, Matt, and I'll just uh, get you a beer or something next time I'm in Virginia. But anywho, that's my project. Hopefully, well, at the end of the month, if not sooner, if I could somehow secure those longer bolts i can get this project going faster i guess you could say but anywho happy signaling everyone goodbye